Hello Capricorn, welcome to Metamystic Tarot. It's the Metamystic here. Let's get right into your reading for this coming week. For Capricorn. For Capricorn. Messages. Capricorn. Interesting. You're moving through something with the chariot here, with the moon, and you're being really strong about it. Why? Because you know that this is what needs to be done. This is a process that you're fully aware of, and you're willing to take the journey, is how I'm hearing it, Capricorn. You're willing to walk through the darkness here. You're willing to go into the unknown with the chariot. You know how to be strong. The star and the moon. The stars light up the sky in the nighttime. You're following your north star here, Capricorn. And it's helping guide you through the darkness. You know the way. Just keep following the star. You're gonna find when you when you get to your destination, you don't even know what your destination is yet, but when you get there, you're going to you're going to know it when you see it capricorn that's how i'm hearing it you're going to know it when you see it this took a lot of bravery here a lot of courage a lot of self control as well when you wanted to freak out when you wanted to panic when you wanted to completely break down and give up you kept going anyways with the strength card and you kept following that that star and you kept being hit with more hidden information where you just you couldn't see through the fog, but still you charged on with the chariot. Queen of Cups and the Devil. Yeah, this really played on your emotions heavy. Heavy. With the Devil and the Queen of Cups, where you were even doubting your intuition at times you you were like am i right am i right but your heart was still leading you toward that star it, it's like you couldn't even trust yourself with the queen of cups and the devil here you, you couldn't even trust yourself but you know that you know this energy very well. This is your card. So at the same time, you're like, yeah, I, I might feel that way. But I'm hearing someone say, I'm very acquainted with this Saturnian energy. I, I know it when I see it. I know it when I feel it. So I'm just going to keep on moving. I'm going to keep it moving. Gonna keep it moving. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna keep it moving. You knew that you yourself were going through a death and rebirth here. So you just allowed it to happen. You allowed your own perceptions even to fall to to fall away and and to just It's like I'm seeing all these like crazy like laughing heads around the moon it's it's kind of it almost feels like a little bit it almost feels kind of like the moon in reverse kind of like a little bit of uh like like i just i see somebody looking in, up into the sky and i'm like am i losing him am i am i losing it am i losing it and, and you know you're not. You knew you weren't. And you know now. Okay. You know now that 
even your own intuition needed to be purified are the words that I'm hearing with the star. It's a purification and a healing process and a journey that you knew you were going down and you knew it wasn't going to be easy and you did it anyway. You had the courage. You did it anyway. Even when every emotion in you was like, I hate this, I hate this, I don't understand, I don't understand. You decided to embrace this energy. You decided to embrace your own self with the devil. This is your card. Wow. Powerful. Very powerful. I see somebody looking at their reflection in the water. And they're looking at themselves and they're like, is that me? Is that really me? Oh yeah, Capricorn. That's you now, baby. You're seeing your own transformation and you're like, you're like, wow. I really have changed, haven't I? Yes, you have. Yes, you have. But there is conflict around the transformation. Look, we have the chariot again. Remember why you first went on this journey, Capricorn. When you're feeling like this because of all this around you, I have a feeling that people don't like this transformation, Capricorn. People, people don't like what they see. Oh, you've changed. Oh, you know, you, you're not who you used to be. And you're like, yeah, I'm me now. I'm me now. I just had to find myself, is what Capricorn is saying. I, I had to go on the journey. So don't let them get you in this position, Capricorn, making you feel like you don't even want to look at your reflection anymore. Because when you were out on the road, you were looking in this water. You were looking right in the water in all these cars at your own reflection you were like wow i i've i've changed it's like i'm a new person but now in this card you have your back turned to the water and you don't want to look you don't want to look at your own transformation you don't you don't want to look at it why because people don't like it with the five of swords you know what i say screw them Work with your Saturnian energy. Work, work with this journey. You had the courage to do it when not very many people would have. Right? You walked through the darkness. Where were they when you were walking through the darkness, finding yourself? Where were they? It's the question I would have. <sighs> to take that blindfold off, Capricorn. Move beyond this and just keep on your way. Because you've come so far. You transform so much. It's inspiring. And it's who you are anyway. It's who you've always been. You just maybe you lost yourself along the way, or maybe you didn't get to fully develop. Like maybe maybe your growth was stunted. I thought something flipped. Maybe you were in an environment that was not conducive to your own happiness here with the Ten of Cups. Maybe, maybe they didn't want you to be standing on your own two feet. Maybe they wanted to keep you trapped. You know? With the Five of Swords, right? Mm hmm They can't stop this, though. I can't stop this because you, when when you get in into this whole thing, you're going to know that you need to take your four of swords. And during that time, you're going to transform again, Capricorn. And you're going to know that you can stand on your own two feet with the nine of pentacles. 
And you're actually going to end up becoming the king of pentacles here. Okay, so they can't stop you from your own happiness. People are always going to try to step in the way of the success of others if they feel like it um, challenges them in some way, whether they're just jealous, whether they feel like, like, oh, what, you think you're better than us now? It's like, no, I don't think I'm better than you. I went on a really challenging journey to my own self-actualization here, got in tune with my true emotions, how I really feel in life, what I want with the Nine of Cups, figuring out, you know, what I want to build here with the Three of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles here with this awakening sort of card with the hanged man. You're like, it has nothing to do with you. It's I'm not trying to quote unquote outshine you with the star card. This was your first card out. They don't like it. So just keep it moving, Capricorn. You don't have to explain yourself. You don't have to feel bad about anything. You don't have to feel guilty. Yeah, that death card wanted to come out. This is what you did. You went on this journey. And you came out the other side. What were they doing? While well, you were becoming emotionally balanced here, getting in tune with your emotions, you, you know. You know what was necessary for you. Don't let these people get in your head with the Two of Swords and the Five of Swords. Mm -mm. Anything else for Capricorn here? Temperance. Turn lemons into lemonade, baby. With the Temperance card. Just use this energy to your advantage. Use it to your advantage. And just let you let yourself become all the wiser with the hermit. And and with the hermit, disconnect from these people. Because they're not your friends, honey. They ain't your friends. No, no. They they don't wanna be they don't they don't wanna see you successful here. And it's for their own weird reasons. This comes up all the time. All the time. So yeah, the temperance card for me is just turning lemons into lemonade, just using this sort of energy to your advantage here and uh, just just letting it let it, let it, letting it make you even more wise. Look, these are two cards of wisdom and um, like taking the journey like this guy hung himself upside down to receive the runes with the hanged man. The hermit went on a journey up the mountain. He's at the top of the mountain here. He has the star in his lantern here. You ha you're you carrying your dream around with you. So you're, you're going to be just fine. You're going to be just fine here, Capricorn. And you know that. I don't even have to tell you that because you, you already took the journey. You faced your demons here. You came in contact with your own self. You looked at yourself in the mirror. And you're like, you know what? I want to look at it. I want to look at the whole thing. I, I want to be honest. And, and I want to I wanna advance here in this life. And I want to walk out my destiny, my dreams. my. I want to have hope again. I want to be healed in my emotions so that I can I can really love people I'm hearing. This is beautiful, Capricorn. And you show up right in the center of your reading. We have four cards on this side, four cards on this side, and here you are right in the middle. Okay? So there you go. Much love to you, Capricorn. I'm going to go over to Patreon and do your extended. If you want to join us over there on Patreon, it's $11 a month. We'd love to have you join us. You can click the link in the top of the description. Until next time, Capricorn, take care.